What's up guys, my name is Australian and today I'm bringing you 5 simple tips on how to play Nami Lee Sin. This deck is one of the top, if not the top meta deck in the current meta, so let's get right into it. Tip number 1. If you've attacked with Vastayan Disciple, you don't want to immediately play the Shimon Wind. The Shimon Wind comes out at burst speed, so if you have the attack token, you can just play it as last second as possible to force the enemy to use their mana so they can't clear it. More importantly though, you can float the 2 mana into spell mana to help Nami's level up. Also, if you float the mana, then Shimon Wind will first consume your spell mana to help you float even more mana to turbo level Nami. Tip number 2. Coral Creatures creates a 1 mana spell in your hand from your regions, either Bilgewater or Ionia. The best card you can get from this is Ghost, followed by Momentous Choice and Ruju Style. But regardless of what card you get, remember to use this 1 mana card to help combo with your Lee Sin or activate Nami's passive. Tip number 3. Momentous Choice has crazy synergy with Lee Sin, especially if you've played Ionia Hookmaster because it causes a double proc. This means with 1 mana you can essentially proc both Challenger and Barrier on Lee Sin. It's also really good if you have a Nami on the board as it causes Nami's passive to proc twice. So if you can, try to save a Mentis Choice until after you've dropped an Ionia Hookmaster. Number 4. Pay attention to how much is left to Lee Sin's level up. If you can play 1 or 2 spells to level up Lee Sin before attacking, do it so you can get the Dragon's Rage, which can help you close out games. Remember that a proc momentous choice counts as two spells towards Lee Sin's level up. Number 5. Wiggly Burble Fish and Fleet Admiral Shelly are two elusive win conditions. If you have a Nami on the board, you can attack with all your elusives and Nami, so it forces them to block the Nami and brings initiative back to you and potentially forces them to spend some mana to remove your elusives. Do not buff up your units before you attack. Let them use their removals and use your spells to buff up your units outside of the removal range. Or you could buff up the damage of the units that haven't been targeted by the enemy's removals. Anyways, those are 5 quick tips. If you liked it, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See you later.